Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Today I'm going to take you along as I mill up some logs into slabs using my chainsaw mill. Now I started with two white oak logs. They were both 32 inches at their widest and one was 12 feet long and one was nine and a half feet long. Now the log that's slabbed down at the bottom here is going to become an outdoor picnic table uh, at some point. So let's get started. My friend Jim called one day and told me he was worried I didn't have enough to do. He told me he had loaded up two large logs onto his trailer and was going to bring them over to me. We didn't have a good way to get them off the trailer, so I chained them to a tree and Jim drove off. My neighbor Dan stopped over and helped us roll the large log out of the way so we could get the other one off the trailer. There it is! The next day, I attached a ladder to the larger log and made the first cut. Once the first cut was made, I set my mill to 3 inches and cut the first slab off the log. This time of year it gets dark really early, so I was making this cut here around 6 p.m. My friend Dima stopped by the next day and he helped me make the next cut. These cuts are a lot easier with two people. If you haven't already checked out Dima's YouTube channel, I'll leave a link to it in the description. These first two slabs will become the tabletop. For the next cut, I set my depth to 4 inches. I'm to the point in the log now where the rotted hole is exposed. I'm not worried about the material missing in the middle of the slab because I'm going to use these slabs mostly for the table base. So I'll be cutting this slab into 4x4s and 4x6s. These thicker slabs were incredibly hard to move. I'm estimating that these slabs have about 100 board feet in each of them and probably weighs around 400 pounds. Using a PV, I'm able to flip the slabs off the log. After I cut the fourth slab, I was left with a tapered offcut that I figured I could cut another small slab out of. I set my mill to 2 inches and made the cut. Resting the offcut on the other log made this a lot easier since gravity was working in my favor pulling the mill down the log. In the end, I was only left with a couple of thin offcuts, which I think is a pretty good yield. A little bit of sawdust cleanup, and then I can move on to the second log. On this log, I want the cuts to be in line with the crotch, so I roll it so I get it oriented correctly. I need to remove the part that juts out on the end to make it easier to mount the ladder for my first cut. Once I laid the ladder on the log, I noticed that the middle of the log had a crown that I also need to remove to make mounting the ladder easier. Once I got the ladder laying relatively still on top of the log, I screw it down and make my first cut.
for these cuts, I want to cut these at nine quarter or two and a quarter inches thick. So I use some spacer blocks to set my mill depth to two and a quarter inches. This cut took 12 minutes and I sped up the clip to be 20 times normal speed. Overnight it snowed for the first time of the year, so I had to uncover the logs and I can keep cutting in the snow. Now these slabs had a little bit of rot to the outside, but overall I think they're going to have some pretty amazing color and grain. Now I'm making the last cut on this log. This is only going to be a partial cut because the log here is tapered. This will give me a piece that is probably about 4 or 5 feet long. So if you'd like to learn more about chainsaw mills and this mill in particular, and how I use it and how I set it up and how I actually cut the logs, Check out a video I did a few months ago where I milled up a few uh, walnut logs. In that video I go through in a lot more detail about how I actually set up and use the mill. So thanks for watching, I greatly appreciate it as always. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.